Welcome to episode 13 of Let's Learn Star Wars. In this episode, I would like to apologize for the lack of episodes recently. I've been keeping track now, and I'm a whole two trilogies, I'm like, one behind. With another episode due this Sunday, even though I upload on Monday. Ah, oh, whatever. The reasons for this, I'm not even sure of. For some reason, I've just not even been wanting to write scripts or do any research. Now I'm done this period of, uh, let's call it the laziness era. Yeah, sure, that works. I can start producing videos yet again. So after this long-winded speech, let's get down to business. Today, we start off the Weapons Trilogy. And no, I will not be doing a lightsaber episode. There's just too much to cover in one episode. Lightsabers could probably get a whole saga. That's six, by the way. We will be talking about the Gatter Fee. E. Weird name, I know, but let's just dig right into it. You see, that's funny because this thing is a multi tool, one of which being a shovel. The Gatter Fee, E, included an edge for, used for clubbing and crushing the foe of the wielder, a spear for stabbing and penetration, a hook for dismantling prey, and an axe bit on the bottom for basic combat. Yeah. Out of all the things p this thing could possibly do, a shovel just doesn't seem to come to mind. They were used mostly by Tusken Raiders, or the Sand People. They were also made of whatever materials Tusken Raiders could salvage. This being the primary weapon of the Tusken, most were very proficient with it. Because of its day-to-day -day use, Tuskens would usually not want to part with their tool. This is why bounty hunters were instructed to bring them as a sign of death. Only high-ranking Tuskens would ever get one made from steel or iron, or even dura-steel plating, which was salvaged from fallen ships. Ewoks and Rebels eventually adopted it as a melee weapon. I would like to apologize yet again for the lack of episodes. May the Force be with you.